Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. This video is sponsored in part by Violent Mind, the first volume in the Animal in Man series by Joseph Asfani. Maxon, a cunning fox, stalks the Lioran capital city of Crosswall as a shadow, a lone operative for the city guard who must never be seen or heard and never engage with the enemy. But when he's caught in an explosion that levels a city block, the fox ignores his mission and retrieves a dangerous artifact that could bring the whole planet of Herbridia to its knees. The Relay, a weapon that turns civilized animals into savage beasts. Get your copy at Amazon.com today. I just gave my opening spiel and it wasn't even recording already? That's funny. Okay, so welcome to the zoo, guys. This is still Sequoia, Point, uh, the Sequoia Park Zoo. Um, what we're doing today is uh, we're putting in a penguin house and I'm anchoring it on this uh, path here. This is going to be the intro for uh, the interior of the penguin house. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm going to try and do a uh, a complete interior habitat, which is something I don't do very often. But you know, sometimes you have to. That's weird. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to put it in this general area. I'm anchoring it on this path here. Um. Hold on. Do I want to go to six meters? I think I do because... No, I'll keep it eight meters. I'll keep it eight meters. Um, anyway, it's going to be a long and complicated build. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And... Uh, and I expect that I probably will tear things down and start over at least once out of frustration. But you know what? I'm going to try to make an interior habitat for the king penguins, which includes their swimming area and their, uh, and their living area, all inside a building. We shall see how it works. I'm hoping this building doesn't just look ugly, but you never know. It just might. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this over to the time lapse. As you heard at the beginning of this, I, this is the second time I'm giving this spiel. The first time, I actually took care of things. You know, I, uh, I, I got rid of some fighting animals. I traded some things away. I fixed some things. I clicked on, what's his name here? Uh, handshake. So, Lizard of Oz 3. I, I clicked on him already. He's already taken care of. I, I took care of some maturing animals, some fighting animals, all that. Now, I did everything I did thinking that the recording was going on, but it wasn't. So anyway, guys, uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, starting at about this point, it's all going to be an interior habitat for the, for the penguins. And over here, I was thinking about placing a small um, exhibit building for maybe reptiles or insects or something like that. Anyway, guys, wish me luck. I'm going to go to the uh, time lapse now. And I will see you guys in a minute.
I gotta tell you folks, this was one of the most grueling builds I've done in a while. Uh, to give you an idea, while the, the time lapse only takes like 16 minutes, the actual real world build was over five hours. I split it between two days. You might notice that there's a point in the middle there where it, uh, where it kind of does a fade away and you come back to the zoo. Yeah, that's where I actually turned off the game because I was getting too tired and came back to it uh, the very next morning to finish the build. Um, this was a long one, but you know what? I'm proud of it. I This is exactly what I wanted to see. It's exactly what I wanted to do, and I think it looks great. Um, the, the exterior might need some decoration, but the interior is amazing, and it's exactly what I wanted, and it is a tribute to the uh, penguin encounter at SeaWorld here in Orlando. Orlando. I said here in Orlando like I still live in Orlando. I don't live in Orlando anymore. I live in uh, Melbourne, but I used to live in Orlando. I used to work at SeaWorld actually as a chef for a little while. And, uh, you know, I had passes, so we'd, anytime it would be like, you know, hey, I want to go see the penguins. You guys know that I love penguins, or at least you should if you've seen that video on my, uh, on my, my channel that, you know, the day I met the penguins, that was special. Penguins are my favorite animal. And uh, I don't want to live in a world without them. Shit, I'm breaking up. Holy shit. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, this was a fun build, and it's all interior. The penguins are happy. They got a lot of space. They got a lot of swimming room. They got a lot of land. Um, the path that the guests walk on give the impressions of both an enclosed space and an open space because, of course, you know, the walls are only there for part of it, and then it goes into that uh, that part of the path that has the railing. Um, it was tricky, it was difficult, but you know what? It worked, and my God, like I said, it was five hours total work over two days. So I'm actually going to take a break from the from the game for a little while. Now, you guys won't notice the break because I record these way ahead of time, but I'm actually not going to play this game for a couple of days. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, I had fun with this, but I am tired. I will talk to you later. Please tell me what you think of it. I'm looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Oh, next episode's going to be a reptile house. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. As old and as true as the sky The forest protected shall prosper The forest neglected shall die You have an aptitude to change attitudes Cause we have to prove it That's right it too Grab your shovel Let's work to do The world's in trouble You gotta build a zoo 